Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Julia. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, we're still in quarantine and um, a lot of us are doing weird stuff to our hair. Yes, a lot of us are either cutting our hair, dyeing our hair, um, coloring our hair. But on today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys my top three bleaching products that I absolutely swear by, I love. I've been dyeing my hair for the last past five five years I want to say so I've gotten to a certain extent on what hair products are good and which ones are past I'm that person that went to various different salons and asked various different people about how much were they willing to charge me to one dye my hair gray and two how long will it be the treatment like what are the things that you guys are gonna do to my hair and a lot of people have told me, well, because I have a lot of hair, it's going to be about $1,000. Um, the lowest I've gotten was actually $750. That's not including treatment. So I started doing the math and I decided to actually start dyeing my hair by myself. And this is how I ended up doing it. And I've gone up through ups and down. I learned what's good. I learned what's bad. And I do have thick hair and my hair is naturally black, as you guys can see. But because I do have thick hair, my hair is willing to take more of a hit than other people's hair if you have thin hair you know your hair is most likely going to bleach faster than my hair will but let's get started to this video so i'm going to be posting pictures here of how i started when i did my hair um keep in mind this was about five years ago i actually first started dyeing my hair with using natural things so i would do the vitamin c plus um head and shoulders and it would lighten up my hair but it would also be very very drying now if you are doing it that way make sure you have conditioner or hair mask on hand and put that immediately to try to kind of restore your hair again all right so let's get started how to bleach your hair one-on-one -on -one for beginners now these products you can either buy on Amazon or you could buy them on Sally's I usually would always buy my stuff on Sally's or Amazon those are my two places that I go I never recommend anyone at all to use box bleach it's not the best do not use it. It is it is not something that you want to put your hair through. I mean, if you have thick hair, then go for it. But if you have thin hair, don't even try. It's going to fry your whole entire hair. One thing is for sure. When you are using bleach, you never want to mix it in a metallic bowl. You want to use a plastic bowl, a glass bowl. Nothing that has metallic within that bowl you are allowed to use because for some reason it gives like a chemical reaction and you want to avoid that. Trying to go gray and you have dark black hair, you are going to have to go about three rounds. And I would recommend you doing those three rounds once a week. So yes, you're going to be having like yellowish hair and blondish hair, but I would recommend you to do three weeks, you will have your gray hair. Just be patient. Patience is key. Especially if you don't want to fry your hair. I mean, you could do them all the same three days, but you know, then you're going to fry your hair. You if you don't want to do that, you know, it's up to you. The first brand that I absolutely fell in love with and one that has my heart and I absolutely love buying their products. They're a little bit pricier, but I mean, honestly, I feel like they're worth it 100%. Which they're actually, for some reason, sold out at Sally's, which is like mind-blowing. So it's their Bond Brilliance. It's from the brand Bond Brilliance and it's their Express 9 Levels. It's basically, it comes in a beautiful bottle like this and the powder is inside. Now, that powder has so many freaking amazing ingredients. It's very good for your hair. It's very healthy for your hair. Now that does range between $13.99 to $27.99 and it does have two different ounces. I like to buy the big one. Um, unfortunately, they're out of stock, so whatever. A level 9 basically gives you almost a blonde, completely like a blonde hair color. Now, keep in mind that you are still going to have to tone your hair to get it a gray, but if you're trying to just go red, then, you know, going a level 9 will, like, be the best solution for you. Number 2, it's the Wella Tub. Now, I used to just buy, like, the little Wella packages, but then at the end of the day, I did the math, and the tub ends up being the same amount because for my hair... I would need like four packages and each package is like four to five dollars and the tub is almost twenty two dollars so it's like might as might buy the tub and I get more product. The, unfortunately the Wella does only lift up to seven which is still pretty good when you want to get a when you want to get a blonde. When you are mixing the Wella's developer I mean the Wella powder the Wella's bleach you are going to use 
50 and 50. So if you're using one scoop, then you need one scoop of developer. On the Bond Brilliants, it's honestly up to you. I always ball it as one point, well, one of two ratios, which is basically one scoop of bleach and then just two of the developer. My last and not least is the one that I've actually been trying. I think this is one of the most inexpensive ones that I've used. I do really like this product because it's a two-in-one, but you do have to go through sections, especially because this one only does up to a five to four kind of-ish lift. This one is basically the Prism Light Violet Tub. Now, this one's actually around $17. It even goes on discount to like $13 sometimes, so just keep an eye on that. I remember I got mine on sale, so that's why I ended up getting it. Now, with that one, because I do have really dark hair, it did take me a lot more longer to go more blonde. But it actually works really well when I have like color hair dye and I'm just trying to do a bleach wash. It's like the perfect one for me. This one is a violet, so when you're mixing it, it has a purple tone to it, which it tones out the yellow or the golds that are basically on your hair when you're bleaching your hair. So it's kind of like a two-in-one. And with this one, you want to do the same ratio as uh, the Bond Brilliance, which is basically one scoop of powder, two scoops of developer, just to be able to have a good ratio of products. You could always eyeball it. I always eyeball it, but that is the recommended ratios. Now... There is a set time when you want to have the bleach on your hair. With all these three bleach powders that I'm mentioning, you don't at all want to apply heat to them. But with that being said, is like, I don't want to see you ladies with the blow dryer. That's not that's just gonna fry your hair. You could go ahead and put a cap on. That's fine. You could use aluminum foil to use it. That kind of creates a little bit of heat, which kind of like goes in faster and bleaches your hair a little bit more smoother. You could go ahead and do that. But do not apply heat in any of these three bleaches because it's not recommended whatsoever. You guys, hair grows out. So if you're going to fry it, fry it the proper way. My recommendation is always getting this brand as well. But if you can't afford this brand, you could go ahead and buy the one and only. The Argan Oil is also really freaking amazing for your hair. They actually ended up coming out with a newer product, which I actually do like. Because again, it's again straightening and it has Argan Oil on it. So it protects your hair as well. And that one, I think it's like 40, 50 cents less than this one. But tips and tricks, make sure your hair is dirty when you're going to be bleaching it. Second of all, do not use heat. Heat is not okay. Do not use heat. Heat is not okay. Third of all, do not use box bleach at all, please. Don't use it. Don't use box bleach. I am begging you guys, go to Sally's. Get yourself a Bond Brilliance. This works out. This is not even advertised at all. I'm not getting paid to tell you guys. I'm telling you guys by experience. Go ahead and grab the Wella as well. It's amazing. But I'm telling you guys by experience. If you guys are in a budget, Ion is one of the most inexpensive ones to use. But I feel that because it doesn't have that much ingredients to protect your hair, it will fry your hair a lot faster. So if you do want to buy Ion, go ahead and get it. But make sure you have a hair mask ready for your hair because frying isn't it's just something that you're gonna do especially if you're going blonde let me know in the comments down below you guys what products you've tried on bleaching your hair or if you guys want any tips on tricks on how to bleach your hair you guys look at this look at this beautiful red all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of broke it down a little bit you guys of how bleaching works and again this is just my top three bleaches that i absolutely swear by love and I hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys, we hit a thousand subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Let's go ahead and hit 15,000. Well, it's actually 1,500. You guys, it's late at night. I'll see you beauties in my next video. And stay fit, stay safe. You guys, this quarantine is going to last even longer than we expected, which is okay because we need to all stay safe. You guys, if for some reason you guys are not feeling well, go ahead and get some honey and get some tea and get some lemon and just take a shot of that and help your soothe your throat. You guys stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.